scarlet blaze. Skirmish in the fog. The Empire captures Garrig Mach, and when the lords of Fargus and Leicester declare their allegiances to the Central Church, they incur Edelgard's ire. She sends one army to the Alliance under the command of her war minister, Count Burglies, and leads a second herself to the kingdom's castle Gaspar, the bastion of Northern Roe. Lady Edelgard, we have received an urgent message from Count Roe. Apparently, he has taken up arms against the kingdom. What is he thinking? He was supposed to join his troops with ours so we could use our combined strength to strong arm more of their neighbors into declaring fealty for us. What use is a plan if the man won't follow it? It also seems that Lord Lenato, one of Rose Castled Bannermen, has gone so far as to mount a one man crusade against the Archbishop. He has long held deep enmity for Lady Rhea, and likely leapt into action at news of Garrick Mach's fall. I should have suspected he would lack self-control when it came to his vengeance. Naturally, the Kingdom mobilized troops in response, and now moved to strike Lenato down as we speak. So, where does this put us? Can we get reinforcements to him in time? You want to save the man, Your Majesty? If I may, we would march all that way for... what, exactly? Imagine the consequences of leaving him to die. We need our vassals to believe the Empire will always come to their aid. Always. Of course, Your Majesty. I will make the arrangements straight away. The region northeast of Castle Gaspar is shrouded in deep fog this time of year. That likely accounts for why they are currently only engaging in minor skirmishes. Which means we still have time to intervene. Good. Now make our plans known to the others. I'm counting on you, Hubert. At once, Your Majesty. All of this makes me even more concerned about the situation in Leicester. Nothing has impeded Minister Burgley's march east, has it? It has not. In fact, Count Gloucester has given him leave to garrison our troops there. I hear he has begun turning the screws on House Ordelia, and any other lords who have yet to make their allegiances clear. On the other hand, the Alliance's more powerful houses have united in their condemnation of Count Gloucester's actions. The Minister may soon face a battle with Houses Regan and Goneril, if not others. I can't picture a battle the Minister wouldn't win most handily. Still, the Alliance's new leader, Claude, is an unknown quantity. We can't risk underestimating his skill. Quite right. One can never be too cautious. So, what did you want to talk about, Hubert? I thought we might discuss you, actually. You wish to know more about those eldritch powers of yours, yes? Ah, right. Edelgard said I might have a chance to get to the bottom of that. Kinda figured she'd forgotten since it's been two years now. Pray accept my apology on her behalf. It has been more trying to find answers than we originally expected. With Lord Arundel lost to the winds, it has been a trial combing through what little evidence he left behind. And of course, we are undertaking all of this in the midst of painstaking preparations for war. Lord Arundel is the guy who could shapeshift like Tomas, right? The one who escaped? Correct. 
However, we have recently learned that he goes by another name. Tallis. Did you figure out if my powers are the same as his? And what are my powers anyway? Not some kind of curse, I hope. A fine question. I think it is safe to assume that you possess some form of magic. However, it is not the same ilk as the white and black magic we are familiar with. Yours is, shall we say, dark magic. Heathen craft that is structured differently from conventional spells. <sighs> you are familiar with those who slither in the dark, yes? People like Tomas, Kranya, and Tallis. We believe they possess the same power as you. That's tough to accept, but the similarities are too great for it to be anything else. Still, what you think does not matter in the end, because my mind is already made up. So, what? Are you gonna banish me someplace far away because I'm too dangerous? It's fine if you do. I'm used to being cut loose. That's just how life as a sellsword goes. Do not be absurd. If we were done with you, we would kill you, not banish you. Fortunately, you are exceedingly talented, and Her Majesty trusts you implicitly. The way I see it, we stand to profit best by keeping you in our service. So, you trust me too? Um, thanks, I guess. But now we have a more important question to answer. Namely, how you came by your powers. I thought I heard someone talking in here. We were just finishing up. Do you have business with our mercenary friend, Your Majesty? I do. And I suspect it's related to what you were just talking about. Then I will leave you to it. Pray excuse me. <sighs> you should see the look on your face. Did Hubert threaten you? Don't let it get to you. Yes, he's quite good at that kind of thing. But it comes from a place of caution. I wish that was all that was bothering me. I want to transform the world into a place where no one has to feel trapped by where they came from. When I am done, it won't matter where you are born, whose blood you have, or what powers course through you. Everyone will be treated as equals. That's what we're fighting for, and that is what this war is going to achieve. So believe me when I say this, I don't care who you are. I only care about what you have done, and what you have yet to do. Well, thanks Edelgard. I feel a little better now. is rather thicker than I imagined, Hubert. And if I'm not mistaken... Yes, I agree. Dark magic is assuredly the cause. We already know those who slither in the dark have had comings and goings at House Row. I doubt one of them is here, but there could be a mage present to receive their training. Then we had best leverage our own assets. Why is everyone whispering? Is the enemy aware of our coming? It's entirely possible, yes. They could be directly on top of us, and we would scarcely know it. So yes, let us all stay on our toes. Prudent of you to bring it up, Ferdinand. Ah, thank you. I, I mean, thank you. Why so quiet, Kaspar? Normally you'd be at the front of the line making all kinds of racket. What? You think I'm the kind of guy who'd get all scared and give our position away? 
Sorry, I'm not afraid of anything. Hmm. You're unusually quiet, Petra. Did you not get enough sleep or something? I am listening to our surroundings. Nothing has more danger than fog. One incorrect step and you will be losing your life. <laughs> Can we all try to relax? I'm pretty sure we're alone out here, so we wear ourselves... Sometimes you really think we're still back at the Academy. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Well, great. I was hoping to finish this before reinforcements arrive, but so be it. I will prioritize locating Lord Lenato. Can I leave the Imperial troops to you? I know what to do, so let me do it already. Just mind this fog and make sure you don't attack the wrong side. That goes for you as well. Let us see if you can live up to your reputation. to be battling. The closer we get, the... Not a problem. Move out! Here I go. No mistakes. Everyone, to me! Orders received. Starting is that... There's not a question of can. Only a matter of forward march. Leave this one to me. This will be easy with both. Begin. I am advanced. So, what? Need a hand? Damn sort of fog. I can barely make out my own feet, which will prove useful for Lord Lenato, as he possesses low numbers. The man will doubtless take any edge. We need to find him before the kingdom dies and take him into our protection. Lord Lenato will surely be hiding in one of these strongholds of the Master. The fog will provide cover, but not forever. We need to hurry. Hold strong, men! His lordship needs us! Lord Lenato's forces appear to be fighting a losing battle. We must help them if we can. Send whatever troops we can... Not a problem. I've got this. Here I they must learn who they're up against. There's not a question of can. Move forward, march! Begin. The Sky Spirit, watch and spare. Hey, I see a mage! Do you think he's responsible for all this fog? This fog lifts. Lord Lenato will have nowhere to hide. We're not really going to stumble our way through this soup, are we? I thought we had some sort of solution. Now we can see the enemy, but they can also be seeing us. Keep your wariness. Starting the mission. Is that an order? Begin. The Sky Spirit. Your punishment! Thank you. 
Goblin Otto is sheltering deep in the eastern wood. Please. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Starting the mission. Is that an order? There is not a question of can. Forward, march! Not a problem. I've got this. Almost hurry Watch to this. this. We have our location. Let us not waste any time getting it. The Imperial Army is here. All troops, ready yourselves to intercept. You will pay in blood for invading the lands of Fargus. Thank you. Thank you. Not a problem. I've got this. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Starting the mission. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. There's not a quest. Leave this. Excellent. All the citizens are safe. Taunts are being drafted by the likes of you. Start is the begin. The sky spirit. There is not a clip. They must learn who they're up at. I've got this. There is not a. Leave this to me. I will. Orders received. Take a breather. My thanks for the rescue. That's one task off the to do list. Now we just have to deal with the king. I'm bringing it down. I live to see another day, do I? I knew the gods found a balance. I don't like how close we cut this, but I'm glad you're safe. Now we can focus on the rest of the fight. Now that Lord Lanato is rescued, finally dispense with the magic. Hey, the fog is gone. Now we don't have to keep running into things. How could you betray his majesty, Lenato? How could you do this to me? Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who- I will gladly handle this. I am here to aid you. Starting is that- Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. There is not a question of can. Only a leave this to me. Away. <laughs> For me. Finally. I was starting to worry we would never be able to put our archers to use. I've got you now. 
I have to survive this. I'm so scared to die. It will be safe in our care. Now, rain arrows down upon them. To avenge one son, I have slain a second. My soul is forever forfeit. Our goal here is achieved. Now we hunt down any kingdom stragglers and... What? Your fun ends here. An enemy detachment. Put them to rout and make sure to keep Lord Lonato safe. The mercenaries have cut off their retreat! Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Starting the mission. Is that... Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over... There's not a question of can. Leave this to me. Now's our chance to get Lenato. Not good. I must help Lord Lenato. Ready yourself for death. Guess I better get in there instead of letting the kid do all the work. Count me in, Captain. I may be a new arrival, but no one can arrival my enthusiasm. I will gladly handle orders received. Ignore the action team and target the enemy commander instead. Doing so will force them to retreat. I know we were told not to engage, but isn't this a great opportunity to see how much you've grown? You again, was it? I see you fight for the Empire. Just draw your weapon out of it. You and me have a score to set. And that's enough. I did what I came to do. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who to... I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Starting the myth is that an old... There's not a question of can. Leave this to me. Begin. The sky's not a problem. I've got this. I'm ready. And slip away like it was nothing. Time to face the Blade Breaker's breath. Wide open! I'm falling back, Captain! Come then! Let us fight with honor! Wait, is that always? Since when did he quit the Knights of Seros? Orders received. Watch this!
This fight has run its course. All of you, retreat! Well done. We have kept his lordship safe. This victory will greatly further our conquest. Well, we did it. Yet you're still the saddest looking fighter in camp. Why the long face? Because we only barely got the job done. Everything else was a miserable failure. Sure, we saved Lenato and put Geralt and his mercenaries to rout. But we let the kingdom's troops get away in the process. And if that wasn't bad enough, I failed to beat the Ashen Demon. Basically, we lost in nearly every way you can lose. Wrong! You were hired to do a job, and you did it. And in the process, you've received a valuable reminder about the unique danger the Ashen Demon poses. You're right. I can't believe one fighter could turn the tide of an entire battle like that. Precisely. They're surely going to continue standing in our way, so do try to dig a little deeper the next time you square off. Then I guess my goal hasn't changed. Thanks for the encouragement. For the fate of Fodlan. Well, would you look at that? Maybe it's better this way. The future is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. We must make haste. There's not a moment to lose. Understood. Randolph, take your troops to Orion Road and await further instruction from Hubert. Leave it to me, Your Majesty. Why is everyone so worked up? What happened? It seems the troops we stationed in the Alliance are in danger, and serious danger at that. Gloucester and the other lords betrayed them, and now they have been completely cut off. No! The word betrayal suggests they were on our side in the first place. But I think we can safely assume that was never their intent. This whole time they were simply waiting for us to move the rest of our army toward the kingdom. As soon as they saw an opportunity, they cut off routes to the Great Bridge of Murden and Garrick Monk. Now that our troops are trapped on Alliance lands, House Regan and House Gloucester have them surrounded on both sides. It's doubtless one of Claude's clever little stratagems, and it stings. I don't understand. Everyone is aware of the troubled history between Regan and Gloucester. Why would they decide to bury the hatchet now? Unless... This supposed feud is little more than a web Claude has spun for this exact moment. Perhaps it is, but perhaps not. For all we know, he wants us to overthink the situation and make a greater mistake. I think you're giving Claude too much credit. Count Gloucester probably just saw an opportunity and couldn't help himself. I suppose. All I know is that our reinforcements will never make it there in time. The direct route east risks running into both Kingdom and Alliance forces. 
But if we attempt to skirt around them, we will all be aged in gray before we ever reach Gloucester. Which means our only option is marching south. We'll regroup on this side of the Aramid River, retake the Great Bridge of Murden to cover our backs, and then cut through the enemy cordon. That doesn't sound a whole lot faster. Will our troops be able to hold out that long? I would say no, but these are no ordinary soldiers. They are commanded by our greatest warrior, Count Leopold von Berglitz, the Minister of Military Affairs, and a man who has never lost even one battle. If anyone can rally our troops and convince them to hold, it's him. What a brilliant trap. The Regan boy's even craftier than they say. I agree, sir. Even Count Gloucester's inept army seems to be acting with remarkable discipline. But will the reinforcements reach us in time? Hmm. The real question is, are they coming at all? Because if they're on the way, they'll make it in time. So long as I draw breath, they will make it. So count on them coming. Her Majesty would never abandon us. Yes, sir. Soldiers of the Empire, I know fear gnaws at your hearts, and that's nothing to be ashamed of. Don't run from this fear. Embrace it. Take measure of the enemy that surrounds us and look them square in the face. Yes, we're outmaneuvered and face a vicious fight ahead. But pray to the goddess for protection, and her fire will fill your soul and temper your resolve. Our only duty here is to stay alive, be fearful of death, and let not a single soldier fall needlessly. Raise your voices with me now. Let me hear your courage. We will not lose. Wow, these guys aren't backing down. If anything, they actually seem more excited than before. How is that possible? They're completely surrounded. No one will ever reach them in time. Yes, but Count Burglis is their commander. And I'm guessing a lot of those troops are veterans of the Dagda and Bridget War. During that conflict, the Count's troops held off wave after wave of Dagda soldiers right to the very end. Our force must look tame in comparison. Okay, so what now? I wanted this to be clean, but we're looking at a complete bloodbath on both sides. What I want is the upper hand against the Empire, not these people's lives. And there's honor in that, but I don't think they're going to play along. They don't have to accept every part of it. I just thought they might be, you know, scared. Well, so be it. They may have boundless courage, but they don't have boundless food. If Count Burglis wants me to tighten the snare, that's exactly what I'll do.